Hi, this is Dr. Anne Louise Lockhart from A New Day Pediatric Psychology. So you might have seen that I posted that we just had our Parent with Purpose group here in San Antonio, Texas. I had 10 parents in attendance and it was a really great group. And um, there's a few things that I want to talk with you guys about for uh, as far as takeaways. One of the things that I really want to emphasize is that you are not alone. Uh, many parents feel like their kids have all these behavioral issues and they feel like they're the only ones and they feel like they're a bad parent. You are not a bad parent. When you stay consistent, when you do the best that you can, when you're a single parent, a sick parent, an overwhelmed parent, a working parent, dual working families, you are doing your best and you are not alone in the struggle that you're going through with your child. So take that to heart because I think that's really important for us to remember that we really are truly doing our best. If you want to hear more, stay tuned for Instagram. This is going to end. <laughs> okay, so um, one out of five kids have a diagnosed mental health condition, and that includes everything from ADHD to oppositional defiant to anxiety, depression, Tourette's, autism. So you're not alone because there are a lot of kids have these different struggles and dif different diagnoses. The other thing too is to keep in mind not to over pathologize your child, which basically means don't put a diagnosis on your kid if they don't really qualify for a diagnosis. A lot of kids engage in very irritating and annoying behaviors, but that's part of what kids do. They test boundaries, they test their limits, and they try to see what they can get away with. It might seem like it's intentionally manipulative, and sometimes it is, but most kids want to do well and they want to um, be liked by you as their parent and they want to spend time with you. So that's a really important point. Um, I'm looking at my PowerPoint to really bring home what I talk with them about. We also talked about the brain, that the frontal lobe is responsible for a lot of things, which I've talked about in other videos. Um, and one of these things that it's responsible for is emotional regulation or controlling your emotions, as well as um, making good decisions, time management, those kinds of things. And so when your emotions are peaked, then you don't think clearly. So when a child is having a tantrum and they're feeling out of control, they're not going to think very clearly, nor are they going to make the best decisions. However, neither are you. Lots of parents say, why did I scream? I meant to make a better choice and I didn't make a good choice. Well, if you're an adult and you know uh, that you shouldn't do a thing that you've just done, really, how are we expecting kids to do or think any differently? So be gentle with your kids and be gentle with yourself. Sometimes they do things that are annoying to us, and sometimes it's because they're growing and they're learning and they're trying to figure out what their limits are and um, who they can get away with those things with, okay? Um also, kids need your attention and they need power and you want to make sure you give them attention in a positive way and you want to make sure that you give them that sense of power and control in a healthy way and actually catching them before they even demand it by offering choices. So that's something else to keep in mind by being able to give them something that's a choice. Other times that you're going to have to be able to then put your foot down. However, you also want to stay engaged with that child. So things like sibling rivalry, bedtime dilly-dallying, not wanting to eat certain foods, not wanting to brush their teeth. These are all power struggles. So really looking at what is my kid really wanting and what are they really needing? Another point too is to also know that just because you might have a problem with a child's behavior doesn't mean it's their problem. So you might have a problem with them getting up in the morning to get ready for school and your problem is they are making me late. You always dilly dally, you're always causing a big problem in the mornings, but that's your problem. Their problem might be that they haven't gotten enough sleep or they really want to spend more time with you or that there's a bully at school that's bugging them and they would rather stay home. So again, keep in mind that you are seeing things from a very specific perspective, but they're also seeing it from a very different perspective. So those power struggles, keep that in mind is that if there's a power struggle, really ask yourself, what is my child trying to tell me in demanding power and control? What is the real issue? What is the issue underlying that issue, the issues that are being presented to me? Um, and also the thing is to the positive reinforcement is so much more powerful than punishment. When you're going to discipline a child, discipline is always more preferable than punishment. So 
I just want to highlight a few things. There's so much more that we covered. We covered some great stuff and I hope that you all can join us. I'm going to be doing some really big things in 2018, some parent webinars, more parent coaching options, um, as well as more parent classes. So stay tuned. Go to my website at www.nudaypediatricpsychology.com. Follow me on Instagram, on Facebook at Dr. Ann Louise Lockhart and at A New Day um, Pediatric Psychology. And that way you can keep up to date on all the new things that I have planned in the new year. So thanks so much for tuning in. And I hope you guys have a great, great weekend. Thanks.